up in the sky. Look, it's captivating. It's energizing. It's Alliance's Heroes. Alliance's is the destination for entrepreneurs, investors, CEOs, inventors, leaders, celebrities, and startups. Where our heroes in business align. Now, here's your host flying in, David Kogan, founder of Alliance's. That's right, I'm flying in faster and faster, especially today given the lineup of heroes that we have. Let me tell you who's coming on a little bit later in the show. The founder of Ziggy's Dairy. This is amazing health brand, Icelandic yogurt, and you could find this everywhere. I mean, it's even at uh, I mean, it's at all the grocery stores and stuff. Wait to hear his amazing story. We also will be having the four-time Emmy Award-winning producer. Now, I'm going to hold back so you don't know his name until you listen to the rest of the show, but you will be blown away. But let me describe our next guest. First of all, the guy looks like a movie star coming right out of a movie set. Wears a cowboy hat, and people notice him when he makes an entrance, as he has a very calm and cool demeanor. Like John Wayne, he is changing the startup landscape in Arizona and is the founder and CEO of FundMyBusinessAZ.com, the first, now get this, the first equity crowdfunding portal in the state of Arizona, Nick Andrews. Now, Nick, what's the biggest thing that you see holding back startups from growing? Lack of capital. So there's a there's a funding gap between 100,000 and 10 million. And uh, with equity crowdfunding, we aim to to help with these uh, with that funding gap. Now, you're kicking up a storm with your platform, a secret that many startups and those that want to raise funds just yet don't know about. Share the thunder of why companies are going to fundmybusinessaz.com, both why companies are using it and why investors are using it. Well, this is all part of the Jobs Act. Uh, this, This was created to create jobs and keep investments in our community. It was created to help small businesses with alternative ways to fund their projects. An example of that would be if 500 people put in $500 each, they could raise enough money. They, could, they would actually raise 250000 to launch a small business. And so long as that small business could offer a financial return, then, um, then it would be a win-win. Now tell me about some of the companies currently on your platform and also those that would make ideal candidates to be on your platform. Our first issuer is Wes Harrington from New Sleep, and uh, he's a fantastic entrepreneur. He's a real winner. Uh, He's offering uh, common stock in his company. His company is very similar to a Tuft and Needle, uh, and they've done extremely well. Uh, So it's a great model. With Wes's and his partner Anthony's model, they offer more options than Tuft and Needle. And um, so it'd be fantastic for more people to get engaged in that particular project because their projections show that they're going to increase in value five times in the next five years. So if somebody took took a time to invest, let's say two thousand dollars, and um, they meet those projections in five years from now, that uh, stock would be worth ten thousand dollars. So it's a it's a great way for investors to invest in a winner. And uh, we really, really like uh, Wes and New Sleep. Uh, the second part of your question is, who's an ideal candidate? Well, what we found when we did the research is in Texas and California, the projects that have gotten funded are mainly income-producing real estate deals. And uh, there's an ex- a really aggressive way to, to, to make a, a great rate of return by using this. An example of that would be, is let's say you went to a bank and got, let's say, 70% loan to value, and then you came to me, and I helped you get equity crowdfunding for the remaining 30%, you could stay in for probably a management fee and 50% of the upside if structured properly. And my background is a certified commercial investment member, and I'm, I'm helping entrepreneurs with that piece right now. I mean, do you just love this aspect of it? I really do. I mean, to be able to help companies get funding is such a critical thing. So I got to ask you, though, why hasn't this been done before? 
So it wasn't allowed before. Matter of fact, that was the problem. Uh, only accredited investors were allowed investing in small companies, and that was uh, a government mandate. Uh, they felt that uh, unless an entrepreneur or an investor had uh, a net worth of a million dollars or made 200000 as an individual or 300000 as a married couple and met the accredited investor requirements, they weren't allowed to invest in small businesses. So that's, that's what's really exciting about this. When our governor, Doug Ducey, signed House Bill 2591 on April 15th of 2015, two major things happened. One is it opened the door for non-accredited investors. So basically any Arizona resident has the opportunity to invest up to $10,000 in startup businesses in a calendar year. And those startup businesses now can solicit those investments over the internet and neither of those were allowed previously so this is a really big deal and you're listening to the founder of fundmybusinessaz.com nick andrews this is alliances heroes be a hero go to where entrepreneurs align be part of the community that's e-l-i-a-n-c-e-s.com in fact Nick, you are a member of Alliances. You've been to our roundtables, our secret sessions and that. Maybe you can give our audience a little taste of, well, what you feel the, the energy is when you walk into that room. It's awesome. It's awesome. Let, let, me, let me date myself a little bit. Uh, David, I, uh, I want to just take my hat off to you for a moment and say, good job, pal. Fantastic. I mean, from where we started and where you started and what you've been able to accomplish with alliances is fantastic. You're a doer and uh, you've run this as a business and uh, the people who come there and participate have a great value add proposition to align with other entrepreneurs who are seeking to either get exposure to their companies or raise capital for their companies and uh, make relationships and help their businesses be more successful. So you know, thank you for doing what you're doing, and I'm uh, I'm very grateful to be a part of it. Now, I'm getting some messages on our social media, and they're wanting me to ask you, what does the Arizona Secretary of State, Michelle Reagan, who is also part of Alliances and has been on our Heroes Radio Show, have to do with your project? Well, she's our spokesperson. If you come to our website, fundmybusinessaz.com, and click our intro video, you'll see Michelle Reagan go into great detail about uh, the law, the upside, how it works, and uh, and she's been a great advocate and early adopter for crowdfunding. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about her. She's been fabulous. Uh, but, well, let me also say that, uh, you know, Governor Ducey, uh, Senator Farnsworth, Representative Jeff Winokur, uh, Rick Murray uh, from the Arizona Small Business Association was fabulous. And I'm going to tell you, it takes a village uh, to do what, we, what we're doing here. I mean, there was advocates. I, I matter of fact, I remember attending a Senate hearing with, uh, and, and saw good people like Bruce Brimacombe get up and speak and advocate for this legislation. Uh, there's people that... Um, like Stephen Zilstra from the Arizona Tech Council. He's always been an advocate. When I was there that day, the people who were in the room were leaders of all of the chambers. So this, this has been a great thing for our state to come together and get a win. And we've hit some great milestones, and now it's up to us to get the word out there that Arizona equity crowdfunding is open for business and let's get some wins out there for Arizona because we got the right team in place. Now, Nick, we've got a little less than a minute, but I have to ask you, you know, you've got children. In fact, some of them are on the same sports team as our producer glue. Tell me what values you instill in them and what's the most important thing you would teach them about business. Honesty. Uh, it, that's the only thing that uh, comes to my mind because if if you ever get caught not being honest 100 percent of the time people aren't going to want to work with you and so that's that's the main thing i instill in their minds every morning i gotta tell you amazing someone who works to build the community help others raise needed funds for their business uh, that's a hero that's nick andrews go to fundmybusinessaz.com and when we return the founder of Siggy's Dairy. You could find this at Starbucks, Fry's, every single grocery store. It's all over. You're going to find out the secret what made him so successful. David Kogan with Alliances, and thank you to LoopyDocs.com. 
loopydocs.com for all your editing document needs.